Upon first loading up Storm the Train, you can be forgiven for thinking you're about to play an action or stealth-based game centered around robbing trains. Instead, we find ourselves with a monster dash type run and gun as you hop from one train to the next, collecting new weapons and loads of coins as you blast away the undead, robot hordes, and even ninjas. And, much like Monster Dash, the controls are a simple affair of on-screen direction buttons, a jump button, and, of course, a shoot button. For the most part, the controls work well, but especially during the boss battles when you have to jump at a moment's notice and get in as much gunfire as you can before jumping again. The game lacks the fidelity you may desire in such tense situations. And that's pretty much all there is. Run and gun, collect coins, and then use those coins to upgrade yourself once you die, only to do the whole thing all over again. Special mention should be made of the items in the shop being linked to the stars you obtain completing missions. Most items are behind this star barrier, so it's almost like the game is regulating the pace of your upgrading, which is already covered by the exuberant pricing of everything. Since the running and gunning feels so good, no doubt all these items will add constant replay value to the game. It's just a shame the hoops it seems the player has to jump through to obtain them. So, with its solid presentation and a great feel, Storm the Train delivers as a mission-based run-and-gun platformer. The store prices and their ties to mission progression favour either grinding or spending money, and that's unfortunate. But the experience can still be enjoyed regardless. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.